I was really attracted to this role because it's such um, a significant institution. It's a very old institution, it's 140 years old, and it has played such an important role in people's lives over many generations. And it's also an institution that is at a time of great renewal and change. So it was a very um, exciting and interesting moment to join the powerhouse and to join the team of the powerhouse to look at how we create a new institution in Parramatta, but also how we rethink what happens here at Ultimo and how we rethink what the institution can be for its communities. So yes, creating a new institution in Parramatta is incredibly exciting and we have a really rich uh, team of staff here at the Powerhouse Museum that are really working on thinking about how we create a contemporary institution that can present our rich, diverse collection of over 500,000 objects to a whole new diverse community. And we're really working on those programs and really thinking about how we create a precinct that people feel very welcomed into, but also very engaged with. Well, with CarriageWorks, it was really looking at the history of CarriageWorks as a place that used to make trains and, and train carriages. So it was a place that employed over 6,000 people every day. It was one of the first places to employ Aboriginal people on an equal basis. And it was also the place where new migrants coming into the country got their first job. So it had this incredibly rich history of industry, but this really rich cultural diversity and cultural inclusivity that was inherent um, in the history of the place. And so it was very natural then to develop a vision for CarriageWorks as a contemporary cultural precinct that took forward that sort of legacy of work, legacy of inclusivity, uh, really embed Aboriginal practice into the programs of the institution, but also reflect the cultural diversity of the communities that surrounded CarriageWorks. Being entrepreneurial within a cultural context really provides opportunities to create new projects, think in new ways, leverage people's creativity to then reinvest back into creativity and arts-based practice. There's so much opportunity in that space and I think it's really how you really embed culture in commercial activity and I think you can create amazing immersive cultural experiences for and with communities that can also give income back and support and sustain the activity that you're de delivering. Proud and excited when we set up Project in Wollongong, which was an artist-run space. And I was still a student at the University of Wollongong at that time. It taught me so much um, working independently, having to raise money, having to run a what was essentially a small business, but actually have the community and artists engage with that and to see the direct benefit that actually taking an action can do uh, is still um, something that uh, I think has been a big influence in terms of how I work. And what was so special about that was that we were only able to do that because the broader community of Wollongong really supported us um, and embedded support in what we were doing um, over a multiple of years, which led to a whole range of opportunities for myself and all the people that I worked with at that time.